Back in July 2016, a friend of mine asked me to make him a real Olympic gold medal. I knew it would be challenging. Lucky for me, someone else had already done the difficult artistic part. The model I used was made by 3D Brooklyn and was available for free on a popular 3D printing website. Thanks, 3D Brooklyn! I didn't have any thick brass stock on hand, and I knew I wanted it to be pretty thick, so I decided I would just cast a few blanks out of brass. Also, I was trying to do this project on a zero dollar budget. The metal started out as a bucket of scraps. Lamp parts, bullet shells, and a few other random chunks of brass. I cast the blanks into a round shape to save work and material later, but there's no reason you couldn't start with square stock. My mold was a piece of scrapyard stainless. A steel square with a three-inch hole cut through the middle, about a half-inch thick. This was clamped down to a piece of mild steel, and the whole assembly was covered in soot. The raw castings look pretty rough on the outside, but like my mother always said about me, they were beautiful on the inside. But just in case mother was lying to protect my fragile hopes and dreams, I made three so I could pick the best and cull out the weak. After they were faced on the mill, they ended up looking pretty good. Just a few bubbles here and there. Gave the milled surface a quick shine with 600 grit paper to make sure it would polish the way I wanted. The selected blank was stuck to an aluminum plate with CA glue. It's super adhesive. It's like crazy. Mounting holes were cut in the plate and it was attached to the Sherline CNC mill. The mill had just enough Y-axis travel to accommodate the part. Vectric Cut 3D was used to cam the STL one roughing pass and two finishing passes at 45 degrees to each other. A 3mm end mill from eBay was used for all passes. The surface looks rough in the final pass, but that's just because the brass shows a lot of fine detail against the light. The spindle on this machine is spinning way too slow for a cutter this size. If I had the right spindle speed, it could have rostered much faster. It took several hours to cut, but I think the result was totally worth it. For sanding and polishing, the aluminum backing plate was removed by resting it on a hot kitchen stove for a few seconds to break the CA glue. The STL model includes a ribbon loop at the top, and I've left quite a bit of margin material. This was all removed with the mill and the belt sander. I started with 400 grit wet paper, which gave the brass a nice brushed finish and took off all the mill marks. This was followed by 1,000 wet paper, which gave it a low satin shine. 2,000 wet paper took it to a shiny polish. This was followed with a bit of rubbing compound and topped off with a bit of automotive wax to keep the brass from dulling. The back was left with a 2,000 grit polish, and the sides were left with a 1,000 grit satin. This was a fun project, with a good mix of PC work, CNC, cleanup by hand, and polishing with elbow grease. First place! Take that, Mom.